Oh, welcome back my gardening friends well my regular viewers all know that I've been uh, very busy doing uh, the garden makeover and we're almost there and I will be posting a video uh, fairly soon anyway let's get back to looking at getting uh, this debris netting uh, stitched up I did three minutes of a video and then seized the wife's uh, sewing machine up so we've had another one delivered uh, this netting is green but it does show up as blue on the video for some reason and uh, this is a 50 meter roll in length three meters wide i need six meters wide so i've unraveled it and i'm going to uh, stitch it all together so i've got two 25 meter lengths and uh, my intentions are to sew up all the eyelets this is where the scaffolders tie this to the scaffold pole so when you're looking for this search for scaffold scaffolding debris netting and get it off the scaffolders it's a lot cheaper i bought two rolls six years ago uh, and they were 45 pound a roll but you've got to pay for delivery so i had two rolls and didn't have to pay for delivery that's the way i am um, we'd started to uh, stitch it all up so all the eyelets are now all nicely sewn up i'll show you the cotton uh, that we're using and uh, this one was complete i just started on this one and for some reason uh, the mechanism started to slow down and seized up the motor was still running perfectly i could fill the bobbins but couldn't do nothing else so let's see what this um, new machine looks like i haven't opened the box yet so today is May Day Bank Holiday Monday and it's forecast a lot of rain and wind so I'm going to uh, accommodate the uh, conservatory for this little task. So it's a Hobbycraft machine, can't remember what it was, 40 UK pounds, it's not going to be very big, bar gum is going to get tested well. I've been to the uh, wool shop and uh, my chosen thread is going to be that. Uh, I can't pronounce it but uh, she said what colour do you want I thought well, I don't really matter but so I've had green to match the debris netting but these are some surplus that I can fill the bobbins up with so let's have a little look see what we've got in the box big box little machine plenty of this uh, packaging uh, Babette, Babette who's in the garden uses these as um, little seed packets seed trays growing seeds in growing your vegetables in and uh, i might actually give that a try so let's have a look at the box they say that it is really simple to use i hope so and uh, there's a, a good video on youtube uh, from hobbycraft so it's the mid midi machine small machine big results let's hope it does and uh, Hopefully it's not too different from uh, what I'm used to. So let's get it out of the box. So it looks uh, neat enough. There's the instructions. There's the um, foot controller. I presume this is uh, the power. And uh, two full cotton reels. The bobbins are already filled. There's already some cotton in there and it looks like they've uh, done a test on it so uh, it should work uh, perfectly fine so let's uh, let's get cracking and see if i can i'm gonna have to unreal see how strong this cotton is i don't want to risk it if it's not strong enough so i'm happy with everything there's the holes in the debris netting butterflies will get through that so they need to be uh, stitched up and the cotton that comes with it has got a reasonable breaking strength so I'm going to be happy with that just for the eyelets and then we'll use the stronger cotton for uh, the joint yeah so everything seems to be working okay there's the eyelets all I've done is fold it over on itself and uh, we'll uh, get cracking Oh, 
Right, I did mention earlier it might have been, I said 25 metres, they're 15 metre lengths. Uh, I started off by sewing it like that, but it kept breaking the cotton, couldn't get the tension right, and I think anybody that's used to sewing machines knows that you do need a little bit of thickness, so we've been uh, folding it like that, and then folding it uh, and letting it run through like that. Uh, it's been making a, a better job basically I haven't had any mishaps for the last uh, 10 meters uh, it is a slow process but well worth doing so if you're having issues thicken it up it's very slippy it's trying to pull these threads up and it won't uh, tug it through uh, the machine it does need help uh, to pull it through but uh, it's uh, not too bad. Just reverse it. And we'll have a little look at it. Right, so this is the section I did just by folding it over and uh, kept having uh, major issues, kept breaking, kept pulling, so I just uh, folded it over. And since I folded it over, no more breaks. So just the extra little bit of thickness has uh, helped that. 15 meters done, uh, another 30 to do. Well, I'm three hours in, probably two hours on the machine. It's going really well at the moment. Uh, you might say that's taking a long time, but it's absolutely thrashing it down outside, so I can't be doing nothing else. When you put these two bits together, make sure the stitch bits are on the same side, uh, or else when you open it up, it'll be all wrong. So we're just gonna bring the two pieces together. Complicated bits just at the beginning. We'll fold it over, offer it up to the machine, I'm watching one's fingers, glasses at the ready. Where's my little plaything? I haven't broken a needle yet, and I bought plenty. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, just have to take your time on these bits, but uh, we're away again. Now I've got two hole nets in the uh, conservatory. It does take a little bit of getting sorted. Well, with a 14 and a half metres to go. Well, oh, that's that job done. Um, yeah, so we've got uh, 15 metres by six metres of debris net in there for the giant cabbage frame. That'll hopefully now keep the butterflies out. But really impressed with this little machine. So basically we've done 15, 30, 45 meters of stitching and this machine from Hobbycraft the MIDI multi-purpose sewing machine and it's the model HC506 and up to now uh, it's all uh, it's been my errors I uh, broke one needle I'd already bought some heavy-duty needles but I think the material so uh, nylon -y, it just doesn't go through the machine properly and then if you force it then you're going to have those little accidents but I think one one needle on that amount uh, is quite good. My next project uh, will be the shading using the debris nettle, nettle, the debris netting to shade the vertical garden and the square foot gardening so that it doesn't get too much sunshine 
even now uh, at this time of the year the lettuces started to look a little bit uh, sad especially the ones that we just transplanted a little bit of transplanting shock i suppose but highly recommend this and uh, if you want to follow my channel then why not uh, consider subscribing if you like um, garden makeovers uh, logging and storage and allotment gardening happy gardening to you all till next time my friends ta for now